in this exercise, we will continue with the ionic application that we scaffolded out in the previous exercise. We're going to modify that ionic application to develop a mobile app for the restaurant website that we have been building in the previous courses. So if you have been through the previous two courses, you would have already built the website for the uh, Confusion restaurant. So we're going to continue with that example and then build out a mobile application for the restaurant. Along the way, we will learn more about Ionics CSS classes and also Ionics Angular directives and how Ionic leverages Angular for developing the mobile applications. If you are continuing from the previous course, you would be very familiar with this website that we have been working on for the past two courses. Uh, if you are new to this course and new to this series, then this is the website that we built in the previous two courses in order to help us understand the use of Bootstrap and AngularJS. Now we're going to take this website and then build a mobile app using some of the features that we have in this website and using some of the functionality that we have in this website and build out the mobile app using Ionic. So here we have the home page, then we have the about page, then we have the menu items here, which you can show the details and click, and then you can also select to view only part of the menu items. And then we can go into the details of the menu items where you can see the comments given by the users and then also the contact page where we have all the contact information given to us. Here, I have the Ionic application that we scaffolded out in the previous exercise open in brackets. You can open the application folder in a text editor of your choice. Let's look at some of the contents of the various files that have been created by the Ionic start command here. So here you notice that inside the www folder, www folder, it's getting getting to to me. I'll I'll just say in the application folder. So uh, you have the index.html file, and then you can see that you have JavaScripts uh, and you have the CSS and templates stored there. So let's examine a few of those quickly the contents of these files. And then we will start modifying this scaffolded out application and turning into our application for the Confusion restaurant. So looking at the index.html page, of course, obviously, this is the starting file for your application. So you can notice that some of these will start looking very familiar to you since you have been working with um, Angular and Bootstrap in the previous courses. So you, here we have the uh, CSS for Ionic included and also CSS from style.css uh, file here included. And then we have the JavaScript for um, uh, both the Ionic and Cordova included in there. And then the JavaScript for this specific application, the app.js and the controllers.js already included in here. Now, within the body of this, um, of the index.html file, you notice that we have a declaration ng app starter. So, obviously, the ng app here is defined by the Angular module called starter. And then in there, we have a, um, a an element called as ion nav view. So, you are now beginning to see Ionic's own. Angular directives um, um, being used within the application. So ion nav view is a view onto which you would be attaching other templates. So in some sense, this is something that you have seen with the single page applications 
in angular js so if you develop a single page application you have seen that you need to include the ui views here the nav ion nav view serves a same purpose similar purpose except that this is a specialized directive now ionic as we realized uses the ui router as the basis for the single page application that gets developed in our ionic application so this is where your templates are going to be attached within your application let's make our first change so i'm going to rename this ng app to confusion we have been using that as a standard from before so i'm going to change the ng app to confusion so that also means that i need to go into the app.js file and controllers.js file and then fix up uh, the um, code there so this is your standard index.html file for the single page application uh, angular application that you have seen earlier so now let's visit app.js file so in this app.js file this is the uh, place where the single page application the angular application is getting configured so here you can see that there is a declaration of angular module called starter so since i have renamed it as uh, confusion so i'm going to change that also to confusion also you notice that this module is being injected with ionic so this is the ionic um, module getting injected in here also you you're uh, seeing the in injection of the starter controllers now i'm going to change that also to confusion.controllers okay so uh, with these changes as you browse through this you would notice that there is a config here so single page application config the state uh, provider and url router providers what you see with the ui router coming up here we're going to come back and then fix all this to uh, to uh, design the confusion app now this has been configured as the default starter app that we have um, scaffolded out so i'm going to change this whole thing um, in bits and pieces to turn this into our confusion app so i will go systematically one by one the first thing that i did was to change the module name from confusion uh, from starter to confusion here same thing let me also while i am here let me go into the um, controllers folder what you notice here is that there is a different angular module de declared here with the name starter controllers which obviously i'm going to modify into confusion controllers ionic's way of doing things is to declare your controllers in a separate module your um, app in a separate module and then your services in a completely separate module you can do that with standard angular also although in the previous course i didn't in introduce this approach earlier but if you like to you can separate your controllers into a different module you can separate your uh, um, services into a different module now when you do that you need to inject that dependency injection has to be performed to inject this new module into the uh, the original uh, angular module for our application so here i have declared this as confusion.controllers so that's the reason why this is being injected into my confusion module the app.js file that we just fixed earlier let's save the changes now we're going to proceed systematically making changes to this application so first thing that we realize is that we need a navigation now when you look at this particular uh, app you see that it already contains a side menu so we're going to stay with that and then we are going to use that as our navigation uh, approach for our mobile application so it, typically in mobile applications you don't put a header navigation bar instead you would have that as a side menu which you will bring bring up by swiping on the device screen so this side menu that's the reason why i chose to use the side menu um, approach for designing uh, or scaffolding out my 
Confusion app. So going into the uh, side menu, what you would notice is that if you open this file named menu.html, this file is uh, where the template for the side menu is configured. So in this, I'm going to go in and first and foremost, I'm going to rename that file because in our confusion application that we have developed earlier, we had a menu.html file which was showing the restaurant's menu. So I'm going to rename this file from menu.html to, I will say sidebar.html. Safe name there. So I will rename the file as sidebar.html. So you can do that. Um, within your application as you see appropriate. So after renaming that sidebar.html, let's go and look at the contents of this and then fix up a few things here. When you look at the contents of sidebar.html file here, you would see that there is a declaration called ion side menus enable menu with back view false. So this is a way of specifying that there is a side menu that is going to be declared here in this um, um, particular um, file here. So this one will enable you to declare a side menu. So you can see that there is a directive here, ion side menus element here, ion side menus, which will contain a side menu as well as the main page where you're going to display the information. Now, inside there, you have a ion side menu content. Now, whatever is the content of your application is going to be included inside here. So in Ionic, ion side, ion content is the uh, directive inside which, or the element inside which your content for your application is going to be stored. So now you see how Ionic has used Angular's directives. They have de developed their own custom directives and then use them to help you to design the mobile application. So inside the side menu, you can see that I have an Ion nav bar with a class as bar stable. Now, if you are familiar with Bootstrap, you would see already see some similarities here. So this nav, ion nav bar is a navigation bar or nav bar which is going to be shown at the top of the page so typically in mobile applications you would have a header bar in there we don't put navigation elements into it but rather it's always there with a title and some uh, additional um, menu items uh, being put into the navigation bar. So if you look at any mobile application, that is how the headers of mobile applications are designed. So that's what this navbar class supports here. Now, in addition, it's you see that this has been given a class as bar stable. Bar stable is a class which will style this navigation bar with a gray color. I'm going to change that bar stable to bar royal. It gives a nice indigo violet color to our uh, user interface. So bar royal is another um, Ionix CSS class that helps you to style the navigation bar here. So that one, then after that, you see that there is a declaration of an Ion nav back button. Now, depending on whether your app is installed on iOS or Android, this nav back button will be appropriately displayed for to match the native way of showing the back button for both um, iOS and Android. Later on, we will see how this works when you look at the preview of this app. In addition, after that, we have some buttons here, ion nav buttons, side left. Now this button that I'm going to display in my nav bar is used to show and hide the sidebar, the side menu that, we are, that we're going to show next. So that is the button that is being declared using this ion nav buttons here. And then inside there, you can see that I have a button 
with a class button, button icon, button clear, ion nav icon. Ion nav icon is a font icon that I'm using and button, button icon, button clear. If you are familiar with Bootstrap, you're already beginning to see that Ionic also uses a similar approach. These are all CSS classes that allow you to style your buttons. So Ionic has a lot of similarities with Bootstrap. So that's why if you are familiar with Bootstrap, all this will look very common or very familiar to you already. So that essentially is the Ion nav bar, the header bar for our application. We'll look at how it looks like on the screen in a short while. Now below that, I have an Ion nav view with the name menu content. So menu content, uh, the nav view, again, if you have uh, experience with the UI router, you see that we have used UI view with a name for the UI router. Same thing here, the nav view is serving the similar purpose and then I'm giving it a name saying menu content. So subsequently in my router configuration, UI router configuration, I can use menu content to specify what needs to be put here. Now, I don't want to use the name menu content, instead I will rename it as main content. Okay, So that defines the content part of this template. So this is the content that will be displayed on the screen. So inside here I have another nav view. Now I am going to use the UI router to paste items into position here. Now in addition to the side menu content here. Down below, I actually have the side menu being defined here. So Ion side menu helps me to define a side menu. So, or sidebar, that's what it is called in Ion. Ion. So Ion side menu. And then in here, we define the side menu. So this is the one that is um, when you swipe your screen across or when you click on the menu button, this is what is gonna be shown in your um, side menu here. So inside the side menu, you have Ion header bar. We are familiar with the header bar already that we have seen earlier. This header bar, the class is used as bar stable, which is a dull gray color. I'm going to change that bar stable to bar uh, positive. Let's try that. Uh, bar positive gives that a blue tinge there. And then we have H1 class title left. So I'm going to change that left to navigation. This is the navigation draw that I'm using for navigating my app here. So I'm going to name that as navigation. So after changing these for the header bar, let's move into the ion content. Now if you have any content within your template, you would use the ion content and enclose all the, um, the um, code inside the ion content directive here. So inside the ion content, you can see the use of an ion list. So this is an ionics list. Ion list brings with it a lot of interesting features that we will explore again in one of the later um, exercises where we'll construct the menu item using an ion list also. So in the ion list, so you notice that each item in this list is defined as an ion item. So um, this comes with some pre-configured ion items. So I'm going to, to swap this around a little bit in order to uh, make a few things work correctly. So first and foremost, this login thing that, uh, that exists there, I'm going to cut that out. Let me cut it out nicely and then shift it to the bottom of the list. You will see why a little bit later. So now the first item in the list says ion item menu close href hashtag slash app slash search. 
Now I'm going to change that to home. I want my first menu item to uh, lead me to the home page and then also the name to home. The second one I will um, declare recall when we designed our application um, web application in the previous courses we had home then we had about then we had menu then we had contact us so that's the same structure I'm going to design for my uh, menu here so the second one I will rename it as um, about us and then also this one I will change it to about us the third one, it says playlists. I'm going to change that to menu. And then also this one, I will change it to menu. And we also had a contact us. Since we don't have contact us here, so I'm going to just copy, paste this one and then edit that. Okay, so here I, I'm going to change the last one to um, contact us and the name to contact us and then I will have a ion item here with a class as item divider item divider and then I'm going to leave that uh, I'm going to rename that as services you will see when the UI is looked at, then you will start to see why we have made these changes here. So with these changes, I'm going to save this file. So I have already finished editing sidebar.html page and edited it in order to show the uh, various items. Now I'm going to go into the app.js file and then fix up uh, the app.js file to reflect all these different uh, hrefs there. So let's go back to app.js file and then inside the config you notice that we already have a state here with, uh, with, with app here and then the URL as app and note in particular, it says abstract true. So which means that this particular state is an abstract state. And this state will define a state within which you can nest substates. So that's why note that the remaining states are defined as app.search, app.browse, and so on. So these are nested states here. For this app state, so this is the abstract uh, top state here. So for this, the template URL originally was specified as menu. So since we renamed this as sidebar, I'm going to change that also to sidebar.html. And the controller, I will just leave it as it is, as app CTRL. We'll just use that as such. The second one, I changed the search to home. So I'm going to change the search and then the URL also to home and the template also to home.html. Okay, uh, then at the same time in the templates here, rename search.html as home.html. Okay, now the next state, I'm going to use the state as about us and the URL as about us and the template also as about us. Since we change the name from browse.html to, to about us.html, let me also rename the browse.html as 
about us.html. And then uh, we will have a controller for this later on that we are going to include there. Then the, the next state, it says app.playlists. If you remember, I changed that to menu. So I'm going to update that to menu and then the URL also as menu. And then the um, template URL as menu.html. So after making these changes, I need to go here and then rename playlists.html to menu.html. So this is the one that contains the restaurant's menu. I'm going to um, remove the controller's name there. We'll just leave it as such. Then the next one, the next state, it says app.single and then it says playlist colon playlist ID. Now I'm going to change that to, to dish details. Remember, we used dish details in the previous course. So, and the URL to menu, and then this one, I would just say ID with a small i. And then the templates, I will rename it as dish detail.html, and the controller, I'm going to just remove that for the moment. So, I will go and rename playlist.html as dish detail.html okay and one last uh, one that we had was contact us since since we don't have a state for that here let me create a state for contact us i'm just going to copy the about us states code here And then paste it there. And then I will change that from about us to contact us. Contact us. And also the name as contact us. Now, also, it means that in templates, I need to create a new file and name it as contactus.html. And since this file is empty, I'm just going to go into aboutus.html and then just copy and paste that into contactus.html and then save it some further changes that I need to make to the app.js file here. Um, in here, all these menu content, I need to re rename them as main content because that is what I named my uh, ion nav view in the sidebar.html file. So I'm going to change each one of these from menu content to main content. And then finally, the URL router provider otherwise. I'm going to change that from app playlists to app home and then save the changes. Now, let's go and start up our Ionic Surf with the options minus minus lap. And you will see what it shows on the browser. At the command prompt, in your Ionic Confusion folder, type Ionic Surf minus minus lap. And let's see what comes up in our default browser. So when we hit the return, you would see that Ionic will start up uh, showing the preview in a browser window here. Now, interestingly, 
if you use the minus minus lab option, Ionic will show you the view in both iOS and Android version of our app. So in one single browser window, I will be able to see the preview both uh, of an Ionic version and uh, or rather both of an iOS version and a an Android version of my app on the screen. So here you can see that these are the menus that that uh, that we edited out so now we have the menu home about us menu contact us and then uh, you notice how when i used item divider the services is used as a divider between the two and then the login is below here now we're going to use the login later on we'll come and review what the login does um, same thing with uh, with android also so you, if you swipe on the screen, it will bring up the navigation bar here. Uh, note in particular how the two are different. In iOS, the title is centered, but in Android, the title is on the left side because that's the way the native UI looks like for the native application. So Ionic has designed its CSS classes and the directives in such a way that you get a more closer to native look and feel. You can also go in and make your own changes to uh, to the default way that Ionic shows these two um, in both iOS and Android. We'll look at those in some of the later exercises. Now, uh, in particular, also note how when I specified this as bar royal, you get a, a violet indigo like color here. And then for the menu item itself, when I say bar positive, it gets a blue color. So these are Ionic's built in ways of specifying colors for this. We have seen similar thing in Bootstrap also. So this doesn't look totally unfamiliar to you if you're familiar with Bootstrap already. So there you go. We have a um, an app that is getting closer to what we want within our application. Now, obviously, I'm going to go into each of those templates and fix them fix them up to reflect the real uh, purpose of each of those templates. So let's go back to our um, code and then fix up the templates a little bit, and then we'll start adding our own content. To those templates. Going back to our application, let's open one by one each of the templates that we have we have designed. So first, the about us.html page. Notice how the about us.html page is defined here. So it contains an ion view here. So within Ionic, if you develop a template, you always use an ion view to declare the template here and then you give a view title here. Whatever is given in the view title will be displayed as the title in the header bar when this particular view is shown on the screen. Here. So uh, I'm going to change that to about us because that's what this file is about. So and also change that to about us. Later on, we'll come in to add the content to each of these uh, templates. Then let's open contact us. The contact us also, I'm going to change that to contact us. And then this one also contact us. Then dish detail. I will name this as dish details. then home home we will name it as restaurant take on fusion because this is the home page where your user uh, views when they log in now the menu or html page you see that this already has some additional content. I'm going to fix up this first. The title, I will change that to menu. 
and then you see that you have an ion content and inside that you have an ion list and inside there you have an ion item already with an ng repeat playlist in playlists and things that look very familiar from our angular course before we'll keep that as such i'm going to modify that to help me to to uh, deal with my um, dishes and the menu items so i'm going to change this to from playlist to dish this is something that we are familiar with from the previous courses dish in dishes and then i would say app menu dish id and then i would say dish and name i'll come back to fix these things to be more uh, nicely displaying the information about each of those dishes later on so we'll make those little changes there and then save it now if you go navigate to this um, uh, template it's not going to show you anything because we haven't attached a controller which will supply those um, uh, those uh, values to this uh, template so nothing is going to be shown on the screen so but anyway with these changes let's go back and have a look at our application so going back to our application you can see that you have the the a home page with the restaurant take and fusion being displayed as the header so let's look at the about us so you can see that you have about us then we'll see menu menu doesn't contain anything because the dishes are not uh, uh, been initialized on the scope so doesn't work contact us as such there same thing uh, on the android version also it looks similar the ui note the subtle difference between the again the way the titles are displayed both in android and ionic with this we complete this exercise we have now transformed our um, previous scaffolded our application to be more closer to the confusion app that we want to develop in the next set of exercises, we are going to add content this is to this Confusion app using Ionic's way of styling the content and then further develop this application. So in this exercise, you have seen how an Ionic application is developed. You have seen how Ionic provides its own CSS classes and also provides Angular directives, Ionic's own angular directives which can be used to construct a an angular an ionic application and then 